it's been said that we, you know, we've been revolutionaries and all this sort of thing. Uh, in a way, that's true. We've gone back to a traditional view of the university. The traditional view of the university is a community of scholars, of faculty and students. The only reason that I took part in this is because I like Cal very much. I'd like to see it better. This October, UC Berkeley commemorated the 50th anniversary of the free speech movement, the movement that fought for students' freedom to express political and non-political thoughts without restriction. Uh, on October 1st, 1964, I was arrested while sitting at a table uh, for the Congress on Racial Equality, uh, a civil rights organization that was then very active on campus. Uh, the the deans came up to me and asked me to take down the table. When I refused, they called the police uh, and they dragged me to a police car and put me in. By the time I got in the police car, it was surrounded and that was the beginning of the FSM. From advocating for the increase of educational funding to providing perspectives on political issues that directly affect all students, student activism drives social change starting from within the university and spreads its influence beyond the university. Activism encourages awareness and engagement, energy that fuels action and resolution. We were trying to take the issue and explain to a broader student body that um, the, camp, the, the campus authorities were prohibiting our right to communicate with the rest of the student body and to mobilize um, for, the, for the civil rights activities. When they arrested me and put me in the police car, all I felt was they made a big mistake. I think what's important is that people sort of understand that a student movement is really important and that the student movement spreads into the rest of society. Students carry out the legacy of the movement by voicing opinions and generating solutions. ASUC Senator Haley Broder promotes students' ideas for environmental sustainability. Student activism results from young people taking responsibility for the future. As a result, student voice effectively portrays the priorities of the present and mobilizes action. During the FSM, we learned that dedicated commitment to a cause um, can work, can be successful if you stick to it and if you know what your objective is. From the protests on Janet Napolitano's role as the president of the University of California, to a campus-wide Occupy Wall Street movement, students are continuing to challenge the status quo. A lot of people were concerned and involved with this, the uh, civil rights struggle in the South, but they also realized through the free speech movement that there was a civil rights school, a civil rights struggle still going on at, right in their own backyard, and that they had to speak out for their own rights and the rights of their neighbors, and they didn't have to go hundreds of miles away to do that. The free speech movement inspired college students to openly discuss regional, national, and international matters. A demonstration that started here in UC Berkeley developed into a movement that to this day encourages students to influence social and political change in our world. We won the right uh, for free protests that really had not been anywhere near well as established before.